I think that secularly oriented people can and should use the word spiritual. There are times when I have thought that maybe we should abandon this or that I should in my ever self-effacing quest to become more accurate in my thought and speech, making my thought and speech more congruent with what I think is true. Examples of my cultivating the way I think and speak could be expressed in how I don't use certain words, and I've talked a lot about that. I won't go into why here, but I'll just say I don't use the word race outside of scientific parlance, generally. I don't use the word racism. Grammatically, I don't use the singular they. Um, and I recently began disuse of the word belief, because I think it is, like Islamophobia, a heavily laden conversation stopper that assumes certain things which causes any sensible argument in favor of secularism to be forfeited over to the religious. I'm in the process of cultivating a non-use of the word religion, too, and I'm slowly beginning where I can to replace the word religion with cult and superstition or superstitious paradigm. So about words, let's get back to spirit and spirituality. As I wrote in a makeshift essay today, the word spirit has a place in our language which is non-superstitious, non-religious. We say the spirit of the law, and that's a very important and useful expression. In other contexts, I think that spirit and spirituality can refer to our states of mind and behavior in love, though I am also redefining love as a practice, as it was defined by Eric Fromm as an art, and practices and arts are empirically designed but they are executed with spirit, something soulful. We don't use scientific terms unless we're having a scientific discussion to describe dance or jazz or blues or rock and roll. These are spirit or spirituality-oriented behaviors and endeavors. They are spiritual. So when I use the word spiritual, I'm talking about the essence, the integral kernel of truth in a behavior or a thought or a practice. I'm not talking about something that refers to theistic religion. And in my opinion, theistic religion is actually the opposite of spirituality because it's predicated on dogma. Dogma is the opposite of contemplative thinking, contemplation, and its useful tool, meditation, are open-ended and honesty-oriented, as in intellectual and spiritual honesty, endeavors. You can't explore any subject unless you have an open mind. You can navigate the subject by dogma, in which case you're predicating and administering rules and regulations for thought, but this isn't free thought. A good example of what results in reforming and cultivating the mind such that it is more open and honest and spiritual would be the community of the Jews of the world. The ancient Jewish Hebrew religion is filled with some of the most horrific pronouncements and prescriptions for human behavior. But the Jews have all but eliminated those from their practice and present-day life, such that you have some of the largest numbers of Nobel Prizes being awarded to Jews. Let's look at the opposite case. The Muslims, many of whom do live secular, and modern-day human rights-oriented lives in egalitarian democracies such as our own have not had 
a Reformation, and this is why most, if not all, of the religious violence in the world today is perpetrated by Muslims of one variety or another. There are reasons for that, which I won't get into here. Reasons for why they haven't had a comprehensive Reformation. They basically can't without a major revolution, which is almost impossible given the tenets of their religion. The Muslim community also is the community in which we see the least number of Nobel Prizes awarded. There's a direct correlation between the rigidity of their thought and that fact. There are spiritual Muslims, the Sufis, and we saw what has happened to a large number of them recently in Egypt. They were murdered by more traditional and evangelical Muslims. This is the tendency of extreme religion. It is to snuff out essence-oriented or honest and intellectually honest thinking, what I would call, in a more artful case, spirit or spirituality. What are some more obvious uses of the word spiritual? Well, as I alluded to before, you wouldn't call a jazz musician scientific, although to master his instrument and music, he is applying mathematics and the science of it in the use of music. But we all know what musicality is. It's the difference between technically correct music and music that has spirit. So when I use the word spirituality, and other scientifically oriented people do, we all know that Einstein was very spiritual, but he didn't have any faith in superstition or gods. He didn't, quote-unquote, believe in a personal God. If we listen to Richard Dawkins talking about the wonder and beauty of music and poetry and art and sex and love, we know that he's being spiritual as well, but he's an atheist. He doesn't have religion. So, in the same sense, when you see me using the word spirit or spirituality, don't make the confused conclusion that I am referencing any theistic religion. Theism, as I just demonstrated, often results in the opposite of spirituality, the opposite of open-ended, open-minded living. It results in tyranny. And that's why I think that the three big religions are actually anti-spiritual. Meditation is spiritual. It is the opening of the mind, the cessation of thought. There is no supplication, begging, or waiting for. There is only an openness to the experience of the mind, to the experience of our behaviors, which allows us, as Sam Harris would say correctly, to diminish our ego. This is spirituality to find the essence of our existence and the truth in it, so we may be mindful in anything we do, and we may be freedom-oriented or promoters of freedom of the body and the mind. This doesn't mean that we can't have precepts for a moral life. We could build a very moral life on the scientific observations of living things and how they all seem to want to move toward well-being. And this is what we should want to foster in ourselves and others. That's moral and results in an ethical life. I chose to do that and to apply the Buddhist lessons and the Buddhist precepts. Some could say that I'm not spiritual because Buddhism has superstition in it, but not in the precepts that were given by the Buddha. He also said there is no compulsion in his philosophy, which we call a religion sometimes, he said, test everything that I teach you, and if it doesn't work for you, don't follow it. This is the opposite of Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, which have rules that you must live by, at pain of suffering, at the hands of demons and or hell. There is no such woo-woo, as modern-day atheists call superstition, in Buddhism, except for the idea of rebirth, which I, as a Buddhist, do not have to accept, although some Buddhists have said, I must, but they are wrong. 
The Buddha's philosophy was based on observation, much like that of the ancient Greeks and the Romans of antiquity who gave us democracy. It was based on observation and the idea that everything we experience is filtered through this sense organ, the mind, and the other sense organs. They're called in Buddhism the five skandhas. There is touch and taste and vision and hearing and thought. We filter our experience through this and our brain creates, as per our culture, an illusion of ourselves. From here we get all our egotistical behaviors, which spirituality, or essence-oriented, honest, meditative, and mindful living, can diminish. That's a lot of spirit and a lot of art. Lastly, I'd like to say that we can explain most everything with science, or we are on the path to being able to, but there are some things that we refrain from using science to describe. The art that a Zen master employs to put a beautiful circle on a piece of washi with ink and a brush could be described scientifically, but why would it? I would rather not jam what he does or she does into the square peg of science unless I had to. What the Zen master does is better fit into the circumference of that inked circle, art, which is spiritual, not so scientific.